YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, TKK, man. It's been a little minute since I put a video out. Previously on the channel, though, we did talk about capture cards. We went into an in-depth review, if you will, on the Elgato HD60X and how I feel it's ultimately a letdown. We're not where we really need to be because we don't have HDMI 2.1 pass-throughs. We're not able to do 4K at 120 frames. It's unfortunate, but today we're talking about the Samsung S95B. Again, Quantum Dot OLED, using amazing, beautiful technology, new, innovative, looks really well. And it's one of my favorite gaming displays. I got it in front of me with um, my Ryzen 9 RTX 3090 build and behind me, I got the LG C2. So I've been in a position, blessed, where I could go back and forth between the two. My C2 is on the 3090 Ti build. So yeah, we got that. Today, this TV though, we're talking about an unof unofficially supported feature set that it has, and that's the ability to play at 4K with 120 frames per second. Absolutely perfect. So I got some timestamps that are gonna be down in the description because we're gonna go through setup of this, what you gotta do, my thoughts on it, and then ultimately get around to some gameplay, testing it, seeing how, how it feels to me. Um, because this is, it's a true 144 hertz, which is amazing. So we're gonna get right into that after the central. All right, so let's dive into the meat and potatoes of all of this um, before we get into the setup. As I said, timestamps are gonna be back. I appreciate the support, like, share, subscribe. Uh, but first and foremost, what is 4K and what is 144 Hertz? Uh, you guys have to have heard about refresh rates now essentially the higher the refresh rate the more smooth and the more fluid the gameplay um, is going to be or actually anything that you're doing on the screen it's going to be much more fluid um, the higher the refresh rate the better it is the faster you are the the better you can react the better you can respond it, it just it goes into a lot of things now certain titles are not going to take advantage of that um, fighting games historically they're pretty much created captured produced and output at 60 frames per second or 60 hertz, if you will. Um, but there's a ton of titles, single player games, shooting games, uh, certainly. So a lot of esport games like League of Legends, Dota, uh, titles that I don't play, but you know, people would play and they'd use these TVs. And so being able to put this thing, if you got this in a 65 inch, if this is in like your main setup and you've got a PC there, you've got yourself a wireless mouse and keyboard, you could essentially get into some competitive gameplay where you know you can take advantage of maximum refresh rate. Now the interesting thing for me, um, and I'll go through my catalog and maybe card in a video right here, but years ago, I purchased the Asus 27 inch 4K 144 hertz monitor. Thing had full array local dimming. Uh, it was a beast, man, beast. Crazy heat sink on that thing. Um, had a ton of illumination. It was crazy, man. This was back when the RTX 2080 Ti was the, the, the claim to fame. It was a big card to have. And you had to use the display port because the, 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 the monitor only had HDMI 2.0. So obviously without 2.1, you don't have the ability to go higher than the 60 Hertz at 4K. Well, here we are now we have these displays. We're a few years into these ever since 2019 with the C9 LG OLED and TVs of that year, you've been able to play in 4K higher than 60 frames, higher than 60 Hertz natively with HDMI. So this TV right here being able to carry over to having the ability to give you beyond 120 is definitely a game changer, man. This is phenomenal. So even if you wanted to play and not be playing in 4K, you still have an opportunity to play in QHD, 1080p at the highest refresh rate that you typically would get when you're using these monitors. Let's take a look at how you can do that. All right, so let's get into this. So first thing you're gonna do on the S95B is you're gonna go to settings. Once you're in settings, you're gonna go all settings. From there, you're gonna go to connection. You're gonna go external device manager. What you wanna look at is the input signal plus. Now I already have mine turned on because HDMI one is my PC, right? These are all turned off. You want to have that on, okay? Once you have that on, we can back out of here. And from your Windows 10 or 11 PC, you're gonna right click. You're gonna go down to uh, show more options for a Windows 11 NVIDIA control panel. This is where you turn on pretty much all of your features, your G-Sync functionality, um, changing your resolution. Your resolution does have two different options. There's a 4K native for TV, right? That one's gonna cap at 60 Hertz and below. And then when you go down to the PC option, you can see that here, 
you go to this 4K, it's either 100 hertz or 120 hertz. We're already there, right? So not changing anything there, but we're gonna go back into that just for me to show you what you actually have to modify in this setting. So you wanna go down to customize, and when you go to customize, you have some presets here, but you wanna to go to create custom resolution. First time you do this, you're gonna have a legal disclaimer that you, you can read or not read, it's really up to you. It's just Nvidia kind of telling you, you can break some stuff. It's all software though, so kind of is what it is. You know, it's your own risk, you do this. So we hit accept, and down here, this is where we're going to modify our refresh rate. So out of these options, we've got refresh rate. You can toggle this down or up. We're just gonna go 144, and then down here, we see this option as standard. You're gonna go down to CVT reduced blink. Okay, we're gonna go test. Black screen for a second, that's normal. We want to actually accept this. And now we do have it as an option. So now in the PC scope of things, we've got 100 hertz, 120 hertz, 144 hertz. I recommend that you have game mode set up with this. I do understand some people like to use entertainment. I'm a gamer. The game mode is gonna give you everything that you need. You have to have game mode turned on in order to activate your variable refresh rate or your gene sync set up with this TV also. So now we do have that option set up. And I'm gonna hold play here. This does bring up our game bar and we can see right here at the bottom that we do have 144 frames per second or 144 hertz. We do have high dynamic range turned on. We do have variable refresh rate turned on. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and load up a couple of games and uh, we're gonna check it out. All right, so here we are with Halo. You've got Halo on, right? Okay, so we've got field of view 120. My uh, GPU is the RTX 3090 in this build. I said that earlier. Resolution scaling is 100%, so we are 3840 times uh, 2160. Minimum frame rate 60 frames. Right now the maximum is set to 60, but bam, 144 is the maximum frame rate that we can achieve with this. Now, whether or not I will see this in 4K is gonna come down realistically to, um, you know, performance and what type of settings I do have the game at. Um, so there's a lot that goes into that with PC gaming. I do realize everybody doesn't. Uh, me, I try to play with a preset of like the highest that I can get. In any case, I'm playing with maximum settings. This is why my main rig has the 3090 Ti. If, I, if I'm able to squeeze five frames out, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so we got everything turned up. For the sake of this, I might try. I might turn it down to uh, 4K, um, or I'm sorry, 1080p, just so that I can try to achieve the 144 hertz uh, frame rate. Because there's no way I can get. 144 in 4k with absolutely all the settings up the way that i like to play in this game so let's see what's up all right guys so getting you some actual gameplay here i want to show you the workaround settings that i have just to achieve the 144 hertz um so turn the resolution scale to 1920 by 1080 um so that did change at the top right we do have 143 hertz showing there when you uh turn it up to 4k i'm getting about 90 frames per second so gonna get some gameplay going with Halo right now. All right, team, and I just made a discovery. So with this setting on, game bar is not reading higher than 120 frames per second. NVIDIA is telling me that I am running at 144 though. So because this is unofficially supported, we are seeing a cap at 120 uh, frames right there. So uh, for whatever that is worth, um, yeah. So in this instant, I'm going to try to utilize the frame rate counter at the top right from NVIDIA to produce um, my frame rate for the duration of this gameplay. I've made yet another discovery. So if you turn VSync off, then you can achieve the maximum frame rate. If you turn VSync on, so having it off, you do have like, there's some screen tearing. I noticed from like 
this sequence of my son playing going left and right. Um, but turning V-Sync on is going to smooth that out. It's also going to restrict me to 120 frames. So again, this is unsupported. Now, this is, this is kind of one of those things where this is one of the reasons why I don't think that G-Sync like works fully on this. Like I know it has variable refresh rate, um, but on the C2, like I can play without V-Sync on because V-Sync does introduce more input latency, uh, but I don't have any screen tearing. So in this instance, if I wanted to take advantage of this unsupported refresh rate, I would be playing at 144 Hertz in 1080p, like with this scenario, but I'd be playing with screen tearing. So we're going we're gonna to deal with the screen tearing for now. Servos in your hands. Try moving it. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. I'll come right back to some gameplay. How will you get back? I'll figure something out. All right, this game looks amazing. Like even with this resolution scale at 1080p, this looks really good. I can't tell this is in 1080p. Can you? It looks really good. Wow, man. This stuff is playing at 144 hertz. So as I said, if you were playing this competitively, it's playing pretty good. And I'm not noticing any tearing now. Maybe it was just like with the earlier sequence. Um, but this is, again, this is with V-Sync off because with V-Sync on, the, the frame rate does go down to 120. It locks at 120. All right, let's give Destiny a try. All right, love the way this game comes on. All right, so we got 120 frames is what's being counted right now. I'll show it to you guys, scratch, straight raw. I'm gonna go right into the settings. All right, we're just gonna go into, yeah, we'll go Titan. Hopefully there's, there's probably a ton of sequences we gotta go through. All right, so we got past that, let's see. All right, let's get over the video. So we got V-Sync 144 turned on, right? So as we've seen with Halo, if you turn V-Sync on, 120 is the limit. Um, so I'm gonna turn it off and see if there's a, a frame rate cap is 120 on here. Doesn't seem I'm getting higher than 119. But again, I am running in 4K. So let me experiment and see what dropping my um, resolution down. Let's go to QHD, apply changes. It's V-Sync, let me turn that off. <laughs> 400 something frames, yeah. All right, so um, let's see, let me try something. See if we can cap it at 144 if that comes up without V-Sync. Frame recap enabled on, let's go cap. Let's go 144. Yep, scale down. Beautiful. Dang. It's awesome, man. Go ahead and take us somewhere. Maybe the Cosmodrome. Say it again. Oh yeah, go ahead and max those out. Yeah. It go highest. Right, great. My son was just telling me he noticed the settings are not all the max. Yeah, we're max settings. 4K, V-Sync turned off, frame rate cap enabled, customized it to 144, which is what we have the display at. So let's go ahead and see if we can get us to the Cosmodrome. 
All right, so this game is optimized, in my opinion, pretty well. You can run it at a lot of crazy resolutions. Um, so obviously we're running in 4K max. Uh, so go ahead and pause it. Let's go back to the settings. Um, let's go resolution video. Yep, let's go, let's go QHD. 2560 by 1440 apply all right let's see if we can we can sustain that yep we're good yep okay so QHD we're getting higher than 120 it looks beautiful camera uses a Sony ZV-1 4k 30 frames We got a lot of action going on and we're getting more than 120 frames regularly. The 99% lows are about 115 right now. This is an awesome feature, man. Awesome feature. All right, let's bring it home. All right, guys, this is next level stuff, man. This is this is one of those features that kind of puts this TV at a whole nother level. Um, it really does. And just to be clear with you, man, as of this recording right now, I have tried this option with my LG C2, which I'm in front of. It has the 3090 on it and it's just it doesn't appear to be an option. So this is something that 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 sets this TV uh, above the rest um it's a great great feature man um what do you think about it is it something that you know would entice you to possibly want to you know pick it up um you know if you do this on like a c2 it would tell you that you just have an invalid format and so yeah it's not something you really can tinker around with you can't force it to every tv so it's a great option to actually be something there i can't wait for them to actually get to the point where they put native support for this on these tvs meaning meaning that like v-sync works because there's going to be some screen tearing hiccups i'm gonna tell you that now like i noticed it in halo my camera is only recording at 30 frames per second so you might not have been able to see it but in the starting sequence where the officer was telling chief to like look up down left right like i could see the screen tearing i'm very sensitive to this kind of stuff guys i really am so i see that stuff but yeah, all in all, it played well. And even scaling Halo down to like the 1080 to get it to play, it looked amazing. Like, it looked really good. The high dynamic range, colors were popping in person, but really cool features. Um, I like it, man. Like I said, let me know what you guys think of it. Um, if y'all want to see some more content around it, I had to take a few days off to get some things together, some health things situated, and uh, we back to shooting some content. So make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Max Love.